Good morning. This is Mary Ellen from the channel Sensational After 60. And this is a follow-up to my one-year video I put out regarding Retin-A. Only use natural lighting. And today, my natural lighting probably isn't going to be great. But I wanted to film this. So now, I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about. The first thing I'm going to talk mention is all of the things I have used throughout my journey. Some things I used in the beginning and don't use anymore. So you all know, I am going to enter this information on my video because some people don't have the option of the, in the show more. So if you want to write down the information, you can pause, the, pause it. You know, I have a playlist that has taken my journey from the very beginning to now. So the cleanser I have used most all of the time is the Purity Made Simple um, cleanser. It works. I've used it for 15 years. I have a backup and I don't plan on changing until I find something I like as well. I have, I probably have a year's worth. I just look because I use so little of it. Three times a week I use the Clarisonic and I use it for probably 30 seconds. I received this October 22nd, 2014. It's the Halika Halika Smoothie Peeling Jam. And it was very helpful at first. I still have a lot less left. I haven't had to use it in a long time. But it worked very well. It is one of those um, gamage type of products that you put in on your skin and then you rub and the dead skin comes off. So my friend Kristen321 mentioned something about, someone told her it may not really, it may be the product that makes all those nurdles. So we both tried it on a glass mirror, let it and worked it the same way, and, and it's definitely your skin because there weren't any little nurdles on the mirror. This was very helpful in the peeling stage. Another thing that I used, and I heard about this from Jerry Black, is this pink little scrubby. Something else that was very helpful is that it's either squalane, squalane, S-Q-U-A-L-A-N-E, pure by timeless. I have used very little, I think you can see, but if I had a really a dry spot, I would put a little bit on that, but I haven't had to use that in a long time. I do peel every, anywhere between four and eight weeks, I have a small peel, and right now my skin is peeling. I don't, I don't find it necessary to use that. I opened the Argon Oil on 3-26-15, but I have never used it on my face. I've used this on my cuticles. One thing that's very important to do is get familiar with the way things smell. I do keep this in a closed cabinet, and like I said, I haven't been using it much. In my opinion, it's the very first thing that shows that something's going bad is the smell. So, I'm always familiar. I smell everything when I use it, just because if it's off a little bit, I want to know. And I ordered the Hyaluronic Acid Spray from Timeless. And this, I just, I just opened this on uh, July 2nd. I'm trying to be better about treating my neck. And I think drinking as much water as you can, as, you are, as your body is meant to accommodate, helps my skin so much. I think having a 15 times magnification mirror that I can look in and see if my skin is agreeing with, with whatever I'm using, that has been very helpful. And I also love the nubby, cheap washcloths. I've always used a nubby, cheap washcloth on my face. The cheaper, the better. That's all I used to ever do, was wash my face with a washcloth, and that's it. So now I want to talk about the different sources of Retin-A. And I am not condoning, I am not, this is just out there. I did this, I did this search, and I wanted to share the information. The first thing I want to mention is my friend Cheryl from Cheryl's Corner, and I will link her video below. She had told me some time ago that she had purchased her Retin-A at a facility close to where she lived. Online, she signed up for the RX, RX discount card. She went to her local Kroger, and she bought a 20-gram tube for $28.23. A 20 gram tube. That's the same size. That's the same size tube I used. And she saved over $93.26 using this. So check that out. Also, Good RX is another free 
site to go to. I put in the information and they sent me a card. I called five places yesterday to get prices and ask all of them if they accepted that and they said they did. So I'm just going to give you a rundown and I'm going to read and tell you, and this is different everywhere. Kroger, Walmart, CVS, and Walgreens all accept the Good RX card. Go online and you can look up and see how much money you can expect to save. I did call a compounding pharmacy. I did not know we had one as close as we do. We have one about an hour from here. Their price for the 45 gram tube, which is a large tube, is $135. That's compared to $267 at Walgreens, $237.99 at CVS, and $180.19 at Kroger. So a compounding pharmacy is a pharmacy that makes the actual medication there. And there's not, there's, if we have one with it in an hour from us, I would imagine there's one available for all of you. There are three sources I know online. Kaysa, K-A-Y-S-A dot com, the 0.0% 20 milligram tube of tretinoin cream is $26.95, no shipping and handling. I looked at Brianna Stanco's site, premierlook.com, and she had the 20 gram tube for $90. And then there is also allchemist.com, and that is a pharmacy in, I believe it is India. I spoke to several doctors about it and some pharmacists, whether what they thought about it, and I got pros and I got cons. It is that I believe their uh, Retin-A, when I looked today, was $4 a tube, but they have $25 shipping and handling, and it is in India. So it doesn't have any FDA requirements, but I've had quite a few people comment on my videos that that's where they get theirs. I cannot recommend anything. I'm a registered nurse, so I cannot give you know any advice on where to purchase your items. It just, when I was doing the cost, it surprised me how much difference this made. When I started, my healthcare provider gave me the tube that they had because they weren't using it. They didn't want it anymore. So I used that and then I bought my first tube at CVS and paid $67 for it. That was with no coupons. And then the second time I got a tube, I bought it ahead of time. I did not realize the Retin-A was going to last me eight months for that small tube. I called around and the best price at that time was at Walmart. It was a 0.05% cream, and it was $99. So I mentioned to the clerk, I said, well, I have a prescription at CVS. And she said, well, we can apply some discounts because you'll be transferring a prescription. So I got it for less than $25. I think it was the first time I'd ever had a prescription filled at Walmart. And I think because I transferred, I don't know, I didn't ask any questions. When it, it was less than $25 and I was thrilled. Today I have on my cheeks, the only thing I have on is mascara. And I did put two coats on of the Tarte Camera Lashes. I have the Sweet Rose by It Cosmetics in the lip gloss form. And I put it on a couple hours ago and it's still really moist. I have on my It CC Cream and the Dolce Pink Milani Blush. And that's it. So, it is all good. You guys have a great day. I am going to my sister's, and I'm going to spend some time with my little three-year-old great-niece. And if I, uh, if the mood hits me, I'm going to make a trip over to Aldi's. So, uh, you guys take care and have a great day. Thank you very much. It is all good. Bye-bye.